Yo, Master Fisher here again, and today I'm back with a new league racing video from the C Friday League, this time from France. I'm starting on the medium tires MP5, and it's lights out, and the way we go, and I have a pretty decent start. Didn't lose too much to the guys in front of me on the soft tires. My teammate Inception on mediums right behind me, and I take it very cautious into turn one. But then the McLaren of Farbsen spun it, I drove into Leon, and so many crashes also behind me and in the end my teammates spun me because we were just together in this and couldn't break anymore we have a replay of this soon but yeah as you saw it was just so crazy the first two turns you can see now that the McLaren behind Farbsen braked and then I gone into him because I couldn't break in time anymore and so many cars behind gone into us as well and also my teammate who was wedged into me and couldn't do anything but luckily there, there was a safety car so I can go into the pits and get a new front wing on my car um, and every other driver except the S. Martin of Ben Ketcher pitted for new tires and then we have a safety car restart now but then ahead of me was another crash Leon and the McLaren now uh, retired from the race. And then also Rutemium in the Alfa Romeo retired after a crash. And we have another safety car now. The restart here at lap 7. And this time, I know, just take it cautious. You don't have to rush. I know that I I am a bit faster than the guys in front of me now. And also Adler Holik now made a mistake in turn 2. So Farbsen uh, passed him and now... I as well into turn three. At the same lap into turn 11, Farbsen leaves a gap for me open. So I go down the inside into turn 11. We are still side by side going to turn 12. Now through turn 12, still side by side. But then I had a big oversteer moment, have to correct it. But then the Ferrari of Pleon was very slow. So I also overtake him as well. So I'm in back in P5 now. One lap later, again in turn 12, uh, 11, the Mercedes made a mistake as well. So I'm also past him into this turn. So now it's a uh, four car lead for Red Bull cars and the two Alpha Tauris in front. But they were so slow. I, as you saw into turn one, I was so far behind them. But because of the guys battling, I can close up the gap so much. And again here, the two Alpha Tauris couldn't decide who wants to be in front. And then I almost collected my teammate because they are so slow now. At lap 14, the two ahead of me touched. And then the uh, Alpha Tauri of Eternity was very slow. So I took the chance and now I'm at the inside for the next turn so I use all the track available and now I'm in the podium places again on lap 40 my teammate inception pits for hard tires but I wanted to go a bit longer and then go onto the soft tires for the end of the race at lap 15 I overtake Benno for the lead of the race now but I know if eternity behind us is on hard tires and possibly could drive to the end of the race so I know I have to push as hard as possible now at lap 17 I'm going into the pits and I have to drive 10 laps with the soft tires which isn't that easy but the pit crew did a really nice job fitting on the new soft tires and a rejoin just ahead of Benno who pitted a few laps earlier for medium tires again and then at the outlap ooh, I touched the curb at the penultimate turn which is not so good under braking so the car got a bit unstable and now the gap is at 14 seconds but just seven laps left and I know okay that's it I also have to take care of my tires but then I saw if eternity pits again and I know that's my chance. I did a pretty good undercut in the last two laps. So he will rejoin maybe five, six or more seconds behind me. And with, ju with just seven laps to go, it will be pretty hard for him to close that gap down. But I also have to take care of my tires. Because 10 laps on the softs at a 50% race is not that easy. And he, re he rejoined in P5 behind my teammate which is pretty good because I know he wouldn't make uh, his life that easy and then 
at the last lap of the race now. The gap to him behind is 1.8 seconds. In the end, I had 74% on my tires. Now, I won the feature race. That means I will start the sprint race in P8. And together with my teammate, we decided to start on the soft tires with most of the other guys starting on medium. So we have a pretty good run to turn one and I take the outside line which is the inside line for turn two made up a couple of positions already now now the Aston Martin of Ben at the outside I go to the inside and now in P4 from P8 to P4 in just a couple of corners pretty good and then at the exit of the chicane at the Mistral straight Cleon hasn't got a good run so I use his slipstream now the slipstream of my teammate so at P3 already now, after the first two sectors. And I know my pace was pretty good. And then at lap four, Fabsen and Inception touched at the exit and then passed uh, my teammate there. And then I can use the slipstream of Fabsen at the start finish straight. DRS is available. I activated now a slipstream plus a bit of overtake. And now I'm in the lead after the first four laps of the race and then yeah nothing really happened uh, after the pit stop the gap to my teammate was just about 1.2 1.5 seconds all the time and i didn't let him into my drs because drs is so powerful in this game and especially at this track and then lap 13 i won also the sprint race which means almost maximum points um, from this weekend. I just uh, didn't got the two points for fastest lap, but all in all, pretty good weekend. Won both races, as you can see here now. Um, I'm in the lead in the Drivers' Championship by 82 points, and I won the seven of the 14 races so far of the season and also in the constructors championship we have a pretty big lead over mclaren in p2 and i hope you enjoyed the video hit the like button if so and i see you soon